Have you ever wondered, how does Spotify work? How does it manage to do everything it has been doing? Spotify Tech Stack Fi app uses a wide range of technologies to power its music streaming platform. Kinten Technologies JavaScript, Spotify's front end, part of the application users interact with, is built primarily using JavaScript. This allows Spotify to create a highly dynamic and responsive user interface that can quickly respond to user input and provide a seamless listening experience. Also, JavaScript allows Spotify to easily integrate with a wide range of third-party services and APIs, which helps power many of the app's advanced features. By leveraging the power of JavaScript, Spotify can provide a modern, feature-rich user experience that keeps users engaged and coming back for more. React Spotify uses React for its web and mobile applications because it allows them to create highly responsive and dynamic user interfaces. With React, Spotify can build reusable components that can be used across different parts of the application. This makes maintaining the application easier and adding new features as needed. React also allows Spotify to efficiently manage the application, which means the interface can be updated in real time as the user interacts. This creates a more engaging and interactive experience for users, something that makes the app so awesome. Redex. Spotify uses Redix to manage the state of its front-end applications, including web and mobile applications. With Redix, Spotify can keep track of complex forms such as user authentication, search queries, and music playback status. This makes managing and updating the application's state easier. Redix also provides tools for debugging and tracing changes to the application, making identifying and fixing issues easier. Backend Technologies Java Spotify's backend is primarily built using Java, allowing the company to handle the massive amounts of data it needs to process daily. In that regard, Java provides many libraries and tools for building and managing complex systems. Also, Java's ability to run on multiple operating systems makes it easier for Spotify to deploy its backend on a wide range of hardware and infrastructure, including cloud-based systems. By leveraging the power of Java, Spotify can create a back-end system that is reliable, scalable, and secure, allowing it to deliver a seamless listening experience to millions of users worldwide. Cassandra Spotify uses Cassandra to store its music catalog and user data, including playlist information, user preferences, and listening history. In addition, Cassandra allows Spotify to store and manage massive amounts of data across multiple servers, which is essential for providing a seamless listening experience to millions of users worldwide. With Cassandra, Spotify can easily add new servers to its cluster as its user base grows without worrying about data consistency or availability. Moreover, Cassandra's ability to replicate data across multiple servers ensures the data is always available, even if one or more servers fail. Kafka Spotify uses Kafka to handle data streaming and real-time event processing in its back-end systems. Kafka allows Spotify to process large amounts of data in real-time, essential for providing its users with a seamless listening experience. With Kafka, Spotify can easily handle streaming data from various sources, such as user actions, music playback events, and social interactions. Kafka also provides a reliable and fault-tolerant platform for processing and analyzing data, ensuring the data is always available and accurate. Additionally, Kafka's ability to integrate with other tools and platforms, such as Hadoop and Spark, allows Spotify to analyze and process the data in various ways quickly. Docker. Spotify uses Docker to deploy and manage its microservices, which are the building blocks of its back-end architecture. Docker allows Spotify to package each microservice into a separate container, which can be deployed and managed independently. This provides greater flexibility and scalability, as new microservices can be added or removed without affecting the rest of the system. Docker also allows Spotify to quickly test and deploy new versions of its microservices, which helps to ensure that the system is always up-to-date and running smoothly. Furthermore, Docker provides a consistent environment for each microservice, which makes it easier to manage dependencies and avoid compatibility issues. Kubernetes. Spotify harnesses the power of Kubernetes to support its containerized applications and services. Kubernetes provides a unified platform for managing and orchestrating containerized applications, which makes it easier for Spotify to manage its back-end infrastructure. With Kubernetes, 
Spotify can deploy, scale, and manage its containerized applications and services consistently and reliably, regardless of the underlying infrastructure. Kubernetes also provides powerful features for managing microservices, such as service discovery, load balancing, and automatic scaling, which makes it easier for Spotify to create and manage complex back-end systems. What's more, Kubernetes provides a flexible and extensible platform, which allows Spotify to integrate with a wide range of other tools and platforms, such as Prometheus for monitoring and Grafana for visualization. Other technologies' cloud services Spotify relies heavily on cloud services like Amazon Web Services, Oz, and Google Cloud Platform, GCP, to host and scale its infrastructure. By embracing cloud computing, Spotify has reduced latency, increased performance, and improved its scalability while cutting costs. AWS and GCP provide a wide range of services enabling Spotify to deploy new resources quickly. These cloud providers can configure highly available servers and automate deployment processes with tools like containers and virtual machines. Oz also provides serverless computing, object storage, database hosting, analytics, and machine learning capabilities, allowing Spotify to quickly deploy new features without worrying about scaling or managing the underlying infrastructure. Through these robust cloud services from AWS and GCP, Spotify can provide seamless access to its vast music library anytime from any device. This allows it to remain competitive in a crowded market by delivering quality service with minimal downtime despite skyrocketing demand. Microservices A microservices architecture is a software development approach where applications are broken down into small, independent services that communicate with each other over APIs. Each microservice is developed and deployed independently of the others, which allows for greater flexibility and scalability. Each service handles specific functionality in a microservices architecture, such as user authentication, music catalog, or payment processing. These services can be developed in different programming languages and run on other servers or clusters. This approach allows for better fault tolerance, as failures in one service are less likely to affect the rest of the system. Spotify's back-end is built using a microservices architecture, which allows for better scalability since each service can be scaled independently. This means that Spotify can add more resources to specific services that require more processing power, or handle more traffic without climbing the entire system. Fault this approach enables Spotify to develop and deploy each microservice independently, meaning new features can be added or updated without affecting the rest of the system. It also allows for better fault isolation, as a failure in one microservice is less likely to affect the rest of the system.